Rebel Moon, the director's cut, Zack Snyder's director's cut. I saw both movies, both director's cuts of Rebel Moon in a theater at a special event, which I purchased a ticket for, where Zack Snyder was in attendance. Um, we have an interview for the members only. It's a full one hour Q and a after, um, on for our members only. I filmed the whole thing. It was, they did this thing. They showed first the uh, part one director's cut, which is over three hours, by the way, there was a re reception in the middle. Then they showed part two director's cut. Then, uh, Zack Snyder did a Q and a, it was an all day event. I was there from one in the afternoon. So like, Nine ten at night. It was crazy, crazy event. But here it is. I'll show the video here of uh, from that. But it was really um, I when I bought the ticket, I didn't know, I did not know that it was going to be um, that it was going to be a, a whole event. But let's take a look here real quick. Hey, Zach. Zach, fucking... As the hey, credits guys, are rolling, wait, before we go into this discussion. I have these uh, three hats. Sorry, I found in my office. These are the hats I made for uh, the crew. Uh, for me, anyway, the, the, the why of it is that, the, that there is this universal sort of truth that, you know, and, and, absolute, and well said through all the heavy metal insanity, you know, you can, you can, with some sort of laser focus, find this kind of burning ember at the heart of it and and you can warm your hands um, on that righteousness if you are of the correct iron metal uh, that you can get to it. And I think that, that that's really what, you know, I think all the great myths, all the Joseph Campbellian kind of hero's journeys, and you can talk about it forever, but that really at its core is what it's all about. Is so you can watch the whole. You can watch the whole thing on. I was gonna say, is he Kamala Harris's speechwriter? By the way, <laughs> but you can watch the whole thing in the members only section. There's a lot. Of, uh, we post videos there every week. Um, I thought it was interesting. I'll say this: the director's cuts are better. They are. Uh, they're. I, I'm, what I'm saying is, the movie as I saw the first versions, those are for kids. Those are like a three. And the, the director's cuts are like a four or maybe a four and a half. But here's how they are better and what the differences are. To, to be to real quick on this. Um, they are R-rated. The when, when they use laser blasters, people's heads get blown up. Bodies uh, uh, dissipate in blood and guts. Partial people's heads get blown away. It really is inspired by the violence of heavy metal. There is also full frontal nudity. Yes, I thought that, and I'm I'm surprised to even hear myself say this. A lot of the nudity I thought was unnecessary. What? Exactly, it was unnecessary. Like it's it's a very first scene of part one. Uh, the the lead you know antagonist is conquering a world, and in so doing, they round up women, which they strip naked. And then they, um, they, uh, like they brand them, they brand, they them. brand them on their breasts. It's a Atticus well, Noble upper, upper chest, not a, not upper under. chest. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But Atticus Noble is the character. I, he's actually a very good villain and there are more scenes mm -hmm. with him. I thought it really, it really did expand on the characters more, but it's a mixed bag. It's like heavy metal, but they're wearing ties. It's like, it just, it was like a lot of things that didn't go together. And the opening scene of part one, which I think is a way better opening. There's no paragraph. There's no robot telling you what's going on. It's just, they land on a planet. They, they've conquered the planet and they are going after the leader of that planet and killing his family. It's really hardcore, but all the scenes are dragged on too long. It's like a rough assembly. You could have taken the opening 10, 15 minutes and cut it down to five minutes with all the relevant info that you actually needed. So while it is improved and for adults, it is way too long winded in a way where it, it actually hurts it more. But I'll say that this, the expansions of the characters I liked better. I liked 
What I liked about it was the heavy metal stuff, but my God, it's a movie. I actually think that Zack Snyder is a decent director when he's working with IP that is already widely known, like Watchmen or Superman. And he has other creatives involved, meaning a strong editor to take like Dawn of the Dead or whatever and make it into something. So I I really thought I was going in like, oh man, this is going to be really disappointing. And I actually found stuff to like, but there were, uh, I'll just say this, to put it mildly, there were a lot of opportunities to go to the bathroom. Because I always look, when I'm, when I'm watching a film, I'm like, when can I go to the bathroom? This seems like a boring scene. I don't need this info. I'll just go to the bathroom. There were so many chances for me to believe myself during it. But um, in the end, there, there, I, I, it will be really good if a fan could cut the nearly six hours of this into one three-hour movie that's tightly edited. I actually think it would not be terrible. The film is uh, a need of a real editor. There was no reason for this this director's cut, and and that's what I have to say. So, so yeah, uh, I I started watching the first episode or the first part, and uh, and once Sophia Batella had sex, uh, I was like, okay, I I got what I needed out of this show. Right, right. But <laughs> even, even that scene, the sex scenes dragged on. It was like. Okay, usually get, I almost feel like for sci-fi, give me suggested nudity. Give me Ornella Muti, Princess Aura in Flash Gordon. It was suggested. You never saw anything, but damn, she was sexy. Other sci-fi films have had sexy, but you don't need actual scenes where they're naked, having sex, and she gets on top of them, takes her top off, you see her breasts. I thought it was, it went too far for me. And I like that stuff. So apparently, uh, uh, I, I mean, apparently, I like it more than you did. Uh, well, I, there you go. I dragged on. Sure, let it drag on. Fine, because <laughs> that just that just uh, you know puts off the rest of the movie. Um, I don't know. I, I the the more I think about all the Zack Snyder films I've seen, I'm just not the biggest fan of his. Uh, and I think you're right. I think he does much better with other IPs, but. I mean, this one, honestly, and look, uh, you and I are, are different on this. I'm not a fan of the Snyder Cut of, uh, of Justice League. Um, I love it. Definitely, I love it. I, yeah, I, definitely I, not a fan of Man of Steel uh, and, the, and the other ones. Uh, it just, to me, the guy feels a little self-indulgent, uh, a little bit little? of... Uh, a yeah, little? Yeah, it, it's like, kidding? my shit, my shit don't stink. And so you're going to have to sit through and watch all of it. Watch it all come out. And, um, and that's just how I feel about the guy. Uh, I, you know, look, he visually, it's stunning. I like the look of it. Um, this one, I think he went a little overboard on the visuals. Didn't, didn't quite kill it for me. Um, I, 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 I do not ever look forward to seeing a Zack Snyder film. But I, I will say I'm glad I went there. It's like seeing something like seeing the five hour cut of Apocalypse <laughs> Now, you know? Like, yeah. Uh, so glad uh, I watched. One hundred percent. Seeing it on the big screen would have been much better than seeing it on on it, my television. It actually was better on the big screen. You could really see the the what went into building the world, and it is. It's more inspired by heavy metal than Star Wars when you see it on the big screen. At the same time, I will never see this movie again. Yeah. I'm 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 good with it. I'm good. With it. Yeah, I mean, one, of the, one of the I'll say one of the biggest problems I had with part one, the of the twenty minutes I saw of it, the first twenty, is it, it, we we talked about this with Trap. It's the changing protagonist. You know that that first opening scene was not about the main characters. You know, I, I start with the main character, but you know, it's the, the but it set the opening of part one director's cut set up the story better with the introduction of the villain. I thought it was better. It was way dragged out. Yeah, that but scene. That scene could have been half as long and more impactful. Yeah, but so, the thing is, I, I understood that about the villain in in the original. Right, you know, you're, you're just showing that he's he's uh, more you know more vicious than before, and and that is more graphic than before. That's the only thing you get. You you as as an audience, we understand. Yeah, 
this guy's bad. He's sadistic. We don't like him. Uh, it did nothing to improve that, make him worse, make him better. Um, and, and, you know, that's exactly the same thing I felt about the Snyder cut of Justice League. It's like all, all I felt like he added was just nothing but backstory. Right. And, and we, I kind of understood all this backstory. The only thing good about uh, the Justice League Snyder cut was uh, was the final fight. That was so much better than than uh, Joss Whedon's version. Yeah, even from, uh, this is Borbs, from Paul yep. Tassi. I watched Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon Director's Cup Part 1. That's probably enough. And that's how I feel. Mm -hmm. And he, he basically, I was going to read this article, but he really just echoes a lot of the stuff that I just said. Like, and I, I just saw the story, so um, we don't need to go through it, but I, I, I just feel like you don't like, I'm good. I'm good. Mm -hmm. But, um, there's a better version. If you're trying to learn editing, maybe get these two. I'm being serious. Yeah. You could cut an ultimate, like three hour version of both R rated cuts. It was better. I like the violence was intense and it was, it, it worked. So, um, you know, uh, yeah. I, I, I think that, uh, he, 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 he achieved what he wanted to achieve. Lastly, one last comment is that I saw this movie in a room, the, the screening sold out in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. I saw this meaning the screening in a room of all Snyder bros. Mm -hmm. I understand. They laughed at everything. They <laughs> applauded everything. They were like, like they were zealots. I mean, they were so into it. It made them watching it more fun. That it was like, oh, these people are. Yeah. I I could still objectively look at it and go, you know, not not for me. But uh, I did the parts that uh, I was surprised at the violence and nudity, and I applaud him for that. So, there you go.